Pigs Will Be Pigs. Story by Amy Axelrod. Pictures by Sharon McGinley Nally. Story read to you and extension questions by Math Stervakis. There is the pigs home. You can look at their mailbox. It says the pigs. The pigs were hungry again. Let's have a snack, suggested Mr. Pig. Dear, what do we have to eat? What's the first thing you do when you're hungry? Mrs. Pig opened the refrigerator. Oh no, it's empty. And I just went grocery shopping this morning. Who ate up all the food? she asked. We helped ourselves, said the piglets. And Dad raided the refrigerator a few times. No problem, said Mr. Pig. Let's go out to eat. Great idea, said Mrs. Pig, except for one thing. What's that? asked Mr. Pig. I didn't go to the bank and I don't have any money, she said. Do you? Kids, what do you think the word raided means? In the sentence it says, Dad raided the refrigerator a few times. Let's continue. What did Mr. Pig just do? Mr. Pig opened his wallet. All I have is a dollar, and that's certainly not enough to feed the pigs. Children, how about you? Any money? The piglets shook their heads no. Well, family, said Mrs. Pig, there's only one thing to do. Hunt for money! Let's start with the bedrooms upstairs, said Mr. Pig. He looked through all the closets and drawers. Look what I found, Mr. Pig said to Mrs. Pig. That lucky two-dollar bill I was saving, it was in with my socks. Mrs. Pig searched the beds, looked under the carpet, in the night table, and in her jewelry box. Not too much here, she said to Mr. Pig. Mostly a lot of dust, but I did find two nickels, five pennies, and one quarter. Kids, how much money did Mrs. Pig just find? How much money is two nickels, five pennies, and one quarter? Let's continue. Meanwhile, the piglets were busy hunting in their room. They found six shiny dimes at the bottom of their toy chest and a one-dollar bill in the bookshelf. Then they sat down to count out their penny collection. They counted two hundred pennies. Kids, how much money is two hundred pennies? Let's continue. The pigs finished hunting for money upstairs. Where do you think they're going to hunt for money next? Back downstairs, family, said Mr. Pig. Mrs. Pig and the piglets opened the front hall closet. They checked coat pockets and all of Mrs. Pig's pocketbooks. They found four quarters, ten dimes, one fifty-cent piece, and seventeen pennies. Kids, how much money did they just find? Four quarters... Ten dimes, one fifty cent piece, and seventeen pennies. Where do you think the pigs are looking for money now? The pigs were on a roll. Mrs. Pig checked the laundry room and found a wet five dollar bill. Mr. Pig looked through the kitchen cupboards and pantry. Dear, he said to his wife, there's nothing in here. I'm going down to the basement. A few minutes later, Mr. Pig came running up from the basement holding a $20 bill. Kids, look at the picture on the page. Where in the basement do you think Mr. Pig found the $20 bill? Let's find out. Look what I found in my toolbox, he said. It's time to eat. Mrs. Pig put all of the money in a shoebox. She counted it several times while Mr. Pig drove the family to their favorite restaurant. What do you think their favorite restaurant is? Let's find out. 
It's the Enchanted Enchilada, a Mexican restaurant. When they arrived at the restaurant, the pig said to the waitress, We're the pigs and we're very hungry. What's the special? This is the Enchanted Enchilada's menu. Appetizers, egg dishes, soups, salads, tortilla specialties, Mexican pizza, side dishes, desserts, beverages, and there's today's special in yellow. Today's special costs $7.99. And look kids, in the middle of the special, it says unlimited visits to our salad bar. What does the word unlimited mean? Unlimited visits to our salad bar. The pigs ordered four specials. They ate and ate until they could eat no more. They paid the bill, then left for home. Boy, am I stuffed, said Mr. Pig as he parked the car in their driveway. I can't button my pants. I know what you mean, said Mrs. Pig. I feel like I'm going to explode. We have belly aches, said the piglets. Just a few more steps and we'll be at the front door, said Mrs. Pig. Then we can all relax in our nice, clean, neat, cozy house. There's nothing like home sweet home. Kids, what do you think the word cozy means? In the story it says, then we can all relax in our nice, clean, neat, cozy house. What does the word cozy mean? Let's continue. The pigs are about to enter their home. Kids, look at the expressions on the pigs' faces. The piglets seem happy. Even the cat seems happy and content. But Mr. Pig and Mrs. Pig don't seem too happy. They seem pretty shocked. Your mother's right, kids, said Mr. Pig. There's nothing like home, sweet. Well, kids, there's the pig's home now. Did their house look like this in the beginning of the story? What do you think caused the house to look like this? And I have another question for you. Why do you think the author named the book Pigs Will Be Pigs? Kids, this is how much money the pigs found on their hunt for money. Mr. Pig found a $1 bill in his wallet, a $2 bill in his sock drawer, and a $20 bill in his toolbox. Mrs. Pig found two nickels, five pennies, and one quarter in her bedroom, and a five-dollar bill in the laundry room. Mrs. Pig and the piglets together found four quarters, ten dimes, one fifty-cent piece, and seventeen pennies. And the piglets found six dimes, one dollar bill, and two hundred pennies on their own. In all, the pigs found thirty-four dollars and sixty-seven cents. Teachers, this is an ELA connection activity. And this is the math connection activity. Be aware, math is everywhere. If you'd like to buy a copy of Pigs Will Be Pigs, the publisher is Simon and Schuster.